Imagine creating stunning images and amazing renders in just seconds, no skills required. Today, I'm introducing Prome AI, an AI image generation platform that's about to change the way that you create. My name is Jesse, and I was a drafter for over 10 years before I decided to do an industrial design degree, which completely changed the way I approached my creative ideas. Now I work as an automation machine designer in the agritech industry where innovation is key. Whether it's my career projects or my hobby projects, I'm always on the lookout for tools that will help me work faster, more efficient, and push my creativity even further. And that's why I'm excited to share Prome AI with you today. It's an image generation platform that's been a real game changer for me, helping me speed up my workflow and take my ideas to a whole new level. And the best part is you can try it for free today with no credit card required. I'll show you exactly how later on in the video. So stick around for that. So what is Prome AI? Prome AI is an AI powered design tool that assists users in creating high quality visuals. It offers a variety of AI driven features like image generation from text prompts, sketch to image rendering, creating videos from images or text, background editing without complex prompting. One of the standout features is the AI model style library, which lets you generate content based on specific themes or styles, making it easier to get the look you want without complex prompting. There are multiple pricing tiers, starting with a free plan that includes the basic features, all the way up to more advanced professional plans and even team plans. In short, Prome AI is a versatile platform that empowers creative professionals by using artificial intelligence to make content creation more efficient and more precise. Let's take a look at some of the features and an overview of Prome AI. Prome AI is more than just a standard image generator like Midjourney or Dali, where you keep entering prompts until you get something that you like. The key difference with Prome AI is it offers more of a workflow based approach. It puts its main features right in front of you, like sketch rendering, AI image generation, HD upscaler, erase and replace, out painting, region rendering, and image to video and even more than that. As you dive into each of these features, you'll find options that refine your work even further. And on top of all that, it offers way of taking the work you create and moving it through the different features to create a workflow approach. I hope that all makes sense. It's probably a bit overwhelming right now, but stick around because I'm about to show you an example of exactly what this all means. First, a quick overview of what happens once you log in. Once you log in, this will be your main homepage. On the left, there's a sidebar menu for accessing tools, socials, and your personal profile. At the top, you'll see your credit balance, another menu with additional links, and then on the far right is some more links to support, training, and your profile. It's on this homepage that you also see your recently used features, some features recommended to try, and then further down, you'll see what the community has been publishing. I think now is a good time to go through an example so you can get an exact idea of what Prome AI is capable of. I'm going to show you the AI image generator, which is the real heart and soul of what this program is. And what you're probably most familiar with if you're coming from the likes of Dali or Midjourney. So we can go to my recently used and go to the AI image generator, but let's do one from scratch. So you're probably familiar with AI image generation, we need to give it a prompt so that it can imagine and create something. And you need to be fairly descriptive with this prompt so you can kind of capture the style that you're after. But I want to show you why Prome AI is a bit different because we're just going to go really general and then use some of the options to create the effect we want. So I, I really like the Zelda game. So let's say um, Link standing on a mountain looking at a landscape vista uh, and so it makes sure the prom knows what we're talking about as in our character we'll say link from the zelda game there we go our style we don't want a style just to start with so we're just going to make all our options default so we're just giving it the basic prompt link from the zelda game standing on a mountain etc looking at a landscape fixed stuff. So I'm picturing Link standing on a mountain and he's looking out over a big landscape. So we're going to generate and the number of images it's going to generate is three. And you can see it's pretty quick 
It only takes a little while to do that. And here's our three images. And it's pretty much exactly what I was imagining as well. Looking at, um, say, the video game, you're looking at the back of the character, and he's looking over the landscape. And these are our three generations. So it's kind of gone for a bit of a semi-realistic kind of video game sort of vibe. But maybe you want something a bit more anime or drawn style. So that's where our styles can come into play. So if we go over to style, and it's filtered into all these different categories so you can quickly find what you're after. And it's got images based on each category so you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to produce from that style. So we want an anime style. So we can click on that one. It has a few options. Let's go for a, a traditional anime style. And then we're going to generate again and see what result this gives us. And straight away, you can see the difference between this one here, which is a fairly semi-realistic sort of style, a bit more 3D modeled sort of style. And then what we've just created is a real anime style. And to just take a look at the other two as well. So it keeps that consistent style for those three that you've generated. And I think it's done a pretty good job. While we're still in the image generation, let's go over to Discover and Remix, because this is where the community is posting their own work. So for example, if I go over to the Discover and Remix section, which is the community page for the AI image generator, and we can just sort of see what people have been doing. And say, for instance, I really like this model, I can then remix this so I can create something of my own. Sometimes it'll tell you what the prompt was, uh, but it does give you some settings or options that we use. So in the style of an illustration and it's an RPG necromancer scene. So, and the ratio as well. Uh, but we may want to remix this and you can see it's game scene design. It's copied our settings. And instead of a necromancer, well, actually it's gonna be forcing a necromancer. Let's go a rogue instead and just see what it creates. So it should be a very similar style to what this person has created, but we're going for a rogue character instead. And there we go. Now we've got like a, some sort of skeleton rogue character, which is pretty cool. If I really like something of what I've produced, I can then either generate something similar, save it to the assets or publish it. And what's important about publishing is for one thing, you get one coin every time you publish something. So it's adding back into my coin inventory or my credits, but also if you link this out to the internet, so you might post this image with a link going back to Prome AI and people follow that link into Prome AI and then you get uh, some credit for that. Uh, but then also they might sign up and you may get some coins for that as well. So there are multiple ways of kind of promoting this reward system so that you're constantly getting more credits for yourself to use. And in turn, you create more, which may bring more people into the platform and reward you for that work. So it's a really cool community driven system that they've got in place here that rewards you for sharing your work. Something else I want to show which really sets Prome AI apart. So at the moment, we've been looking at the AI image generator, which you're probably really familiar with because that's where you've come from with Midjourney or Dali. With Prome AI, we can now take this image and bring it into a workflow. So what I mean by that is in our image, if we go up to the top to edit, we can move this into the next part of the pipeline, which includes things like an HD upscaler, erase and replace, outpainting, image to video, region rendering, and there's way more. Like if we go to this part here more, we can see all our different tools. And so we may want to bring this into something else and create you know, a sticker from it or a sketch from it or change the lighting or remove the background is a good one. So for instance, let's try background remover. So we're going to move this into the background remover tool in Prome AI. It's brought our image in, it's changed the option so you could change the actual color background or we want a completely removed black background. And then we can generate that and we'll see what result it gets. And look at that, it's done a really good background removal in just a moment. And then you could take this PNG, download it, make a sticker out of it or you know anything like that. You can even take this even further. We could edit this and do the same thing. We could go to a photo to sketch tool. And again, it brings in our removed background. It's got a style already set for us. I don't know what this one's gonna do, but let's generate. 
And don't forget all these features I'm going to do individual videos on and go into detail on exactly how to use each of the features. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you're notified when those videos are released. All right, and there we go. Now we have changed this image into a sketch. So just thinking back to the whole process and how fast we've moved through all this, if you wanted to get this kind of image, it may be really hard to prompt that directly. But by moving through the different features, we can take something and sort of move it through the process and get exactly what we want. And now we have this finished result. And from here, we could then download it, import it into something like Inkscape and produce like a, an SVG file for 3D printing or laser cutting. So it's a really versatile and powerful platform. And I'm really excited for the future where I can dive into each feature individually and spend a bit more time on it, play around with it and give you the best ways of using that feature to create the work that you want. It's in these videos where I'm really going to dive into my creative talents as an industrial designer to try and use Prome AI as a tool in some of the things that I do, like 3D modeling, 3D printing, a color 3D printing and laser scanning and laser cutting. So these are all areas that I want to try and use Prome AI to benefit my own skills. Now let's go over the pricing structure for Prome AI. Prome AI offers several subscription tiers from a free plan to a power user plan and even team plans. Starting with the free plan, you get 10 coins per month. There are also ways to earn or add more coins, which I'll explain later. The base plan is 19 USD per month and gives you 500 coins, fast generation access, discounts on coin purchases, high definition downloads, and access to some additional generative models and private assets. The standard plan is 39 USD per month includes everything from the base plan, plus image to video access, a 20% coin discount, 24 hour support, unlimited use of style modifiers, unlimited generative modes, and access to the newest AI features. The pro plan is 79 USD per month and offers all the features of the lower tiers, plus 6,000 coins, commercial licensing for all your creations, an 80% discount on additional coin purchases and priority support. I recommend the yearly plan which saves a further 26% off. For example, the pro plan drops from $79 to $59 per month when paid annually. It's a higher upfront cost, but you'll save more in the long run. There are also team plans designed for group collaboration, but I'll skip over those and save them for another time. I'll show you soon how to use Prome AI for free, but first let's go over how the coins work. Coins are the currency you spend on image generations and the cost depends on the features and modifiers you use. If I go up to the top left here, you'll see how many credits I have. And if you click on the question mark, it'll expand and give you an idea of what some of the features cost. You can also see the additional coins I've earned through things such as publishing work. So for example, a basic image generation costs 0.1 coins and the default setting for generating images is three images at a time. So each generation costs 0.3 coins. With 500 coins per month on the basic plan, you could generate up to 1,666 image sets, creating nearly 5,000 images in total. And let me tell you, that's plenty of credit for most users. You can also enable fast mode, which will change the image generation from 0.1 to one coin. So therefore it will cost three coins to generate. But this way you can skip the queue and go straight to the processing. But I found even on the slow mode, most features have a fairly short queue. And finally, if you ever need more coins, we can actually purchase them. But don't forget, you can also earn coins from publishing work, sharing your images, and even referring people to Prome AI through signups. In this video, we have explored Prome AI, an AI powered platform designed to help creators and professionals generate high quality visuals quickly and easily. From sketch rendering to image to video in its unique workflow system, Prome AI provides a comprehensive set of tools that will streamline your creative workflow. We went over the pricing plans from the free tier to the pro options and explained how the coin system works, which lets you generate thousands of images per month. I also showed you how easy it is to navigate the interface and use the tools to refine and improve your creations. So what are you waiting for? Sign up today using the link in the description of this video for a free seven day trial, absolutely no credit card needed. By doing so, you help support the channel, which will in turn help me produce those future videos where I want to go into the features individually one by one and show you exactly how to use them. 
So I hope you found value in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified when more content is released in the future. Thanks for watching.